Greetings and salutations. This is just a quick video on uh, the situation in good old America with the riots and all. And as many of you have seen already, I posted on Instagram a little, a little story. And uh, basically what I want to say first and foremost is that every single encounter I've had with blacks over my entire life be it in America or Europe have been positive 100% and also I don't have anything against blacks taking their own side I don't have anything against blacks posting about black lives matter I don't have anything against blacks being you know resentful of um, other groups that's up to them I don't really care what does make me beyond angry it makes me it's a sense of intense disgust is when whites cowardly spineless whites refuse to take their own side so you have here in Sweden for example you have individuals who said absolutely nothing when young girls are getting hit by trucks in terrorist attacks or when young Swedish guys are being stabbed to death they say absolutely nothing but then they make a show out of showing support for an african-american dying earlier in the week uh, this lack of loyalty it truly disgusts me same thing in england all of these people said absolutely nothing when thousands of young british girls are being groomed and raped by foreign men they say absolutely nothing and then all of a sudden again an african-american male dies and all hell breaks loose and they support it so for me I'm a quite simple man I have a few virtues I stand by and uh, one of them the chief among them I'd say is loyalty I try to you know act in a way that is loyal to my own so when I see a lack of loyalty um, by all of these white individuals who do not care in the least for their own people it uh, disgusts me and another virtue I place high in humans is courage and the opposite of course which makes me disdain people cowardice and what I see now is a lot of cowardice among a lot of whites self-hating whites who do not dare take their own side absolutely disgusting so for me I have a problem with other whites I have a problem with self-hating whites I don't have any problem with I don't have any problem with other groups or races taking their own side. The problem is whites who hate themselves and create a bad situation for other whites and have no sympathy for the plight of other whites. You don't hear too much about the situation in South Africa for a reason. So anyway, if there is anything that upsets me in this situation, it's the response from corporations whose customers are majority white from influencers who are white, whose fan base is also white and uh, you know various normies in individuals but anyway I also want to say that this is truly heartbreaking to see you know small businesses it's hard as it is then we're coming out of a covid lockdown particularly in America we haven't really had in Sweden any lockdowns but you know a lot of small businesses has suffered then perhaps by some miraculous chance their business survives and but you know they're on their knees they have taken a huge hit uh, and then they see their life savings being burnt or destroyed by looters looters who are being supported by the mainstream that also disgusts me to no end you have regular hard-working individuals is trying to run their business trying to supply for their families they are getting their shops or businesses smashed up, destroyed. Do they get any support at all? No, because they're white, because they are oppressors. So it doesn't matter if their entire life's work gets uh, torched. And again, the mainstream are supportive of the looters and rioters. Completely disgusting. So anyway, a lot of black pills, a lot of just disbelief from my side here. But, uh, you know, to all of my friends in America, Stay safe, stay strong, I'm with you in spirit and um, yeah, even though times might look tough, try to look at the bright side of life, there's a lot of beauty in the world as well. And lastly also, this is of course no, no surprise, this coming in uh, during an election year, you have the Covid lockdown, you have these riots, absolutely no coincidence that it's election year, but that is for uh, another topic. 
So anyway, those were my thoughts. Again, to all Americans, stay safe. I'm with you in spirit. XOXO. Boo.